Hello there everybody, Sam Strains Games here. Welcome back to uh, this channel for a little while now. I'm thinking about doing maybe a few more videos on this channel at some point. Oh goodness, how do I get rid of these? But for now I thought I would just do a little bit of a continuation on the last video. Let me set this to time set zero. Um, so this is the machine I showed last time. This is the machine that draws pictures. And uh, is, I'm going to be calling this the old machine because sure enough I have built a new one. But uh, I have actually upgraded this one considerably since the last time I showed it. So I'm I'm just going to run this thing now. I've made it draw about twice as fast as it did before and uh, as you might remember this transmits data over just one cable and just look at this thing it goes so quick really really quick and uh, it draws live on this screen as you can see here we are there's a picture coming out on there now um, it's nothing too extravagant and basically because I, I figured out you know we can send so much data over these over these wires so easily and uh, you know so quickly I thought I want to do something better so obviously this is a sort of just one color it's just literally a white screen which has pistons pushing pushing things out the back so I thought you know I want to do something with color so this is the machine that runs this one it is quite a big thing and I thought I really don't want to build any more machines that are this big so I wanted to come up with something smaller <laughs> and I came up with this now actually there's probably more more in this one to be fair but it's a little bit smaller uh, in terms of the space it takes up. So here we are, you can see, yep, it's got all sorts of different colours. This is the screen. It's actually a smaller screen, but actually it can take more pixels. So this is 7 pixels by 7 pixels, which gives you 49. The last one was just 5 pixels by 5 pixels, which gave you 25 pixels. <laughs> I'm rambling, sorry. Um, but uh, basically, that was uh, each pixel was four blocks, whereas each pixel is one block. And as you can see, here is uh, all the different colours. You've got eight colours in total. Um, and I call this toner. It just stacks up here, like, uh, and it just gets used whenever these pistons push it in. So here's the machine that decodes all the information. It's actually very small and very simple, but unfortunately the data doesn't get transferred through just the one cable. In fact, this time it has four. So you've got three here, which are for the actual data, and one here, which transmit um, just some instructions. And like before, this big machine here, all that does is store the data. And this machine here um, just sort of... Uh, takes the data from there and uh, puts it out into the printer. But as you can see, the two aren't connected at all, apart from just those four wires. So how does this work? Well, every single pixel has a number, and every pixel is controlled by three levers. So as you can see, here's three levers. This one's number 30. You can see number 30 on the sign there. And these three levers um, can be set to choose any of the eight colors. So for example, this one is off, on, on. And if I look here, off, on, on is grey, uh, where, and let's see here, that's the same. Uh, this one is on, off, off, and on, off, off is, let's see here, is white. So as you can tell, we've got, um, well, there'll be 50 pixels, actually. It can do 50, but we've only got it set up to do 49 this time because it's 7 by 7. So as you can see, we've got uh, 21 to, let's see, that'll be 30. Um, here we've got 11 to 20 it will be and there's more over this side as well where are they yep there they are that one is number 31 and it goes all the way up to 50 and basically all this thing does is stream data out across it so I'm gonna show you what this thing is capable of doing um, I'm quite impressed by it to be honest I didn't think it would work as quick as it does but it really really does and it's 100% automatic uh, so I'm gonna show you this thing run now we've got uh, literally three controls you've got this one which is the start button you've got this one which is the reset button I need to make sure it's reset and then you've got this one which is the eject button and I'll show you what the eject button does later on but there are some other images I drew earlier stored down here which I'll show you in a second but for now let's get this thing started then I'm gonna hit the button and as you can see this thing has uh, burst into life and if we go and look at the data cables, you can see that we have got some data being passed out across these now, as you can tell. Yep, you can see data, and the, the, my favourite view is this one. Just look at this thing working. It's, uh, it really is going quick. A real hive of activity, that. And as you can see, yes, the, uh, the toner is being taken down, as you can tell there. You can see it's being used. It's using the blue at the moment. And it's basically putting out a picture, live, as you can see. And it does this at about, I think it's on average, 0 0.68 pixels per second. And the last one was a little bit slower than that. So considering this is doing eight colours and not just black and white, I think that's pretty cool. 
and it does it faultlessly. It can call out any of these eight colours um, immediately, basically, and it prints them live like this. And uh, it does do different pictures. I mean, you just all you have to do is come up, come up with some artwork, convert it to you know on, off, off or whatever, put it into these levers, and uh, you, you're good to go. It takes about five to ten minutes to program them all. Okay, so you might be wondering what on earth this is. Well, this is supposed to be a bird. So there's its beak, you've got its wing up here, and that's its tail, that red thing at the back. So, yeah, that was supposed to be a bird. Obviously, you can't do amazing stuff with this, but I think it looks, you know, pretty good to say it's done just with pixels. Right, now, I'm going to get rid of this white board, because I'm going to show you some of the stuff I drew on this earlier. So bear with me while I just get rid of all this. I don't know why I made so much of it, to be honest. But let's just get rid of it. Okay, so the last thing I drew was a villager. There you go, that's a villager's face. And that came out with the eject button. You just literally hit the eject button. And this one down here was Pikachu. And I, you might notice he's got uh, sort of purple eyes. He wasn't supposed to have purple eyes, but I decided that I would test the colour purple because obviously it's, it's mainly yellow, grey, black and red. So I wanted to bring in another colour there. But that's Pikachu. And this is basically what we do. So you've got eject buttons. So if I hit this eject button, that will delete the Pikachu image. Then we've got the villager here. Um, get rid of the villager, put that into the bottom frame. Then we've got my bird, my brand new picture of a bird. Get rid of that, put that down there. So those two are stored and now of course we've got a blank canvas ready to draw again. So if I reset the machine I can uh, start this, oops, finish this clock. Haven't got proper controls for it yet. Press start and then it will start drawing almost immediately. As you can see, and we've still got the bird, of course, so it's going to start drawing that again. And providing you've got enough toner, as it were, it will keep drawing. So there we go. That is uh, not quite a full colour picture, of course, but I think it's a lot better, you know, than, than the last one was. And it can do a lot more, and it's not all that much slower. So, yeah, obviously, I can't do it all with one wire. In fact, in theory, you could. I could have the whole thing transfer across one wire, but it would be super, super slow. This way, using four, I mean, four isn't bad, considering there's eight different colours being transmitted. Um, and that means you can do it quick. But, uh, yeah, this is the decoder. In fact, you've got eight decoders for all the different ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they all go to the pistons which uh, put out the different colours. So there you go, you can see the colours going down. I'm going to stop rambling now, hopefully you enjoyed that, a little bit of uh, something interesting. And next time I uh, make a video on the gaming channel, it won't be. It won't be anything to do with these pictures and things. But uh, yeah, there we go, that's my colour drawing system. I think it's a lot better than the black and white one over there, although of course that one is cool because it, uh, it transfers all of the data over just one cable. This one's got four, but it can do effectively eight times as much and it does twice as many pixels anyway that was my nerdy little um i don't know what you'd call it ramble hope you enjoyed it hope you found it interesting as you can see we've got perfect reproductions here uh i don't think there's any difference between the two and that's the way it's supposed to be so now i've got two birds great anyway folks thanks for watching see you very soon